Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is Kana Plays here, and I want to go through a quick little showcase of Burning Frost uh, Ice Shards build for a Sorcerer in Diablo 4. Now, if you're like me, and you got to Nightmare Mode at around level 58-ish or so, and you noticed that the mobs were incredibly hard to kill, um, because you went a lightning build, leveling build, or something otherwise, and they're just getting really tough. Um, I believe this is an easy way to solve your problems as a sorcerer. So, I was running a lightning leveling build. I had a lot of issues myself, and now I went ahead and followed the Mobilytics S tier guide by, I want to get the name correct, by Digit. Um, I've been following this guide for a little bit and I will link it in the description. The YouTube channel that actually that actually posts the original guide for this build. Sorry, I should have this name out already. That's my bad. It's a Goblin Inc. So I'll link them as well in the description. Anyways, uh, back to the build. So these are what the talents for me personally look like. I have a little bit of a different build. And one thing that really um, is nice about this build is you don't need anything special to get it going and to start farming. So I'll let you do, let you pause if you want to take a look at these different abilities. You can swap certain abilities to add more mana, mana regen um, from burning abilities. So the way the build works is you need to have this firebolt here just so that you are pretty much constantly adding a flame effect to the uh, a burning effect to the mobs that you're fighting so i'll show you a quick little demonstration um right over here my my gear is not perfect um by any means but i do have all all the aspects i feel like that are necessary so the thing about this build is it pretty much in my opinion works similar to the way the archon build worked um, and Diablo 3, where you just fucking delete shit, so it's, excuse my French, but it's, uh, it's quite a bursty build. So, this is on tier 4 right now, I'm level 70 now, but I was doing this since probably level 66. I've been, well, I've been running Ice Shards since before then, but building it up, and around level 66-ish with the Paragon board, things start to unlock that make you incredibly powerful. So, if you look, your first tree, I ran Elementalist. Um, an elementalist uh, helps you deal fire, cold, and lightning damage, which is increased when uh, you deal when you deal them by five percent stacking per element. The stacking per element is what's important. So I'm actually going to start a nightmare tier just to demonstrate a little bit of this. I'm gonna do uh, this tier 22. All right, sorry about that. I don't know where I left off, but um, I'm gonna go through over a couple things. Just to make sure I didn't miss anything, my mic totally cut out through half that video, so um, I'm going to just continue from where I think I might have left off. So I just want to make sure you have the Elementalist nodes, Glyph Elementalist, you're going to want to pump non-physical damage, also the resistance to elements helps. I go for Oppressive node, all the nodes around it. I go for Weakness, Reinforced as a socketed Glyph on the Frigid Fate board, that's the second board I choose. We're going to go with Chilling, and then um, Guarded. So, a lot of this I don't have the dexterity for yet because I haven't done my altars. If you do your altars, you'll probably be a lot more powerful. This build does not use glass cannon, but I'll tell you, it certainly feels like a glass cannon. We'll go ahead and keep pumping through here, even though I just recorded a bunch. I'll show you what happens when you use flame shield. It literally just melts things. I'm telling you, this build feels so broken, I would get on it before it gets patched just because it's super easy to build. All you need are some of the following um, things. I use uh, of the protector with a high uh, roll because it's actually incredibly effective at saving my life. Um, flint. We, we run with binding embers that uh, the ability to move through enemies, super helpful. I run frost burn. I just got these last night. Um, thought they'd be a lot harder to burn or to, to farm, but that lucky hit chance and um, the lucky hit to freeze enemies is absolutely insane, including the 10% critical strike chance is nuts. Um, I, I run Ever Living. If I want to pump more damage, I run my Ice Heart Brace, which does us a shit ton more damage to Frozen and Injured, and increases my freezing duration, and has a chance to release uh, Frost Novas. 
but the 25% less damage from crowd controlled, crowd controlled and vulnerable helped me a lot, especially since damage doesn't seem to be the issue. I run Penitent Greed just because that chill effect is kind of nice and the 15% movement speed lets me fly through stuff. Um, I run Elementalist as a neck and Prodigies to restore uh, mana. Elementalist just helps you cast mastery and core skills at uh, above 100 mana, 60%, so it's a high roll. Crap ton of critical strike chance. Um, this is the one I got last, so I flipped this around with just different things before. But now I finally got the Avalanche Key. Passive allows an additional cast. Um, and then also Ice Shards on my offhand. And make sure you get that lucky hit to restore mana. Um, and cooldown reduction would be nice on your offhand. So Critical Strike damage, Vulnerable damage. And um, of control on your weapon to increase the damage you do to the Frozen and Mobilizer stun. And then any of the affixes you get on your gear that increase those those things it's gonna help a lot so anyways you want a lot of damage to cc as well but you don't need to really stack this stuff oops need another my bad so i just want to showcase just a little bit of its boss capabilities i hope there is a boss at the end of this if there isn't then i will cut out and come back when there is a boss Alrighty, we are pulling up on a boss now. I just want to show you the capabilities of this build on its first damage against bosses. You're not really focusing on that stagger. You just want to pump them to death because you're not going to apply a lot of stagger. Um, don't stand and stuff either. That doesn't help. So she's level 76, you know, a little bit higher level than me. Sucks when you miss like that. Feels like you waste quite a lot of mana. Now the mana regen on bosses is one of the most annoying. Once you get her like this, look at that. Just, just deleted. Just absolutely deleted. Tier 22, it's nothing crazy. It's not like super hard tier. I'm just showing you a real basic thing, but absolutely insane. I'm currently upgrading both my Elementalist and my uh, Reinforced right now. So I'm doing Reinforced first. Getting that puppy to level 15. Gonna upgrade this guy as well. We're just going back and forth until I get them both to 15. So anyways, I hope this uh, little showcase helped, showed you how powerful it is. Maybe it's a new class you're gonna play. If you do happen to feel stuck at Nightmare Tier 3 and you happen to have a little bit of a hard time staying alive or uh, killing enemies before you manage to, to live through it, you know, um, I feel like Ice Shards. Burning for us is a good build for you. Um, just before we go, We'll take a quick look at the site. That way uh, you have a little bit of a better idea what is going on. So I'm going to pull this up. We're going to pull up the Burning Shards build here. And let me go into depth here. So what you are looking at here is the in-depth guide. Sorry for the window size. That was really stupid. Uh, is an in-depth guide made by Mobilytics by Digit. Now, it is going to say Frostburn's great and it changes the game. It does change the game, but you will still be very powerful before that. Um, another thing is going to be that the Paragon is a little confusing. So I tend to follow what they say. I get Elementalist reinforced. I'm soon going to get Destruction. But uh, it was a little bit difficult to follow. So I follow uh, Max Rolls Ice Shards uh, build on their Paragon board to kind of like get a good feel of what it looks like if you have trouble. But Paragon's a lot more simple than it seems. Um, for your for your weapons, it gives you all the stat breakdowns. This is top stat down to, to bottom. Oh, sorry, I cut the half the screen off there. Um, and, you know, I don't even have these plus three to four ranks of Teleport and Nova, and I still just destroy stuff. So uh, it's really up to you how you want to make this build. It's versatile. You can change a lot about it. I hope this has helped. Um, go ahead, check out Digit's channel. He, he makes awesome content um, on tons of different guides and stuff. So check him out. Uh, here's his in-game Sorcerer build guide. Hey, uh, I'm Digit. I would highly recommend you do this. So um, thank you again, and I hope you guys all have a great day. Peace.